The eruption, uh, which is started in the Reckoners Peninsula as the 12th eruption in the series of the eruptions since 2023, is started like this, a very tiny fissure, which extended, of course, as the crack opened, and we had this uh, development, which showed multiple fissures, multiple craters forming, and gradually growing bigger. Lava flow was flowing toward the east this time and then over time most of these craters uh, ceased to active be active and only one crater remained and this crater had a wall collapse during this period that actually created a wall collapse and now we are seeing the eruption is subsided although it is stable but it's not much we have gas pollution yet in this area, which is due to the volcanic ash and the sulfur dioxide spreading into the vicinity of this area and carried by the wind. The thickness of the lava, lava field, I should say, in this area is increasing, showing that the lava is trapped inside a cavity. It is thickening, adding to the uh, thickness of the lava here, but it's not just spreading much. Only that part, red part to the south, is spreading a little bit. And the magma uh, situation under the ground was very intense in the 21st, but next day, with a different satellite, of course, we see that it has relieved a lot. The activity is much reduced, but this is what we are seeing. Interestingly, GPS data also shows that the activity is actually equal. The amount of the magma coming and going out is equal. At the same time, we are seeing that the drop down during the eruption to the level was not equal to the previous uh, resting position in the previous uh, uh, eruption. I can show you here compared with the past previous eruptions, it is one of the highest. It has not reached any level even close to the previous eruption. And uh, that means there is a lot of magma there, which is practically may not be able to erupt. It's too thick or, th uh, I mean, viscous, and at the same time, to you know semi-solid to be able to reach the surface there is not enough gas in it to push it upward uh, the hazard stays the this level reduced a little bit in this area of course uh, it will keep you updated on that this may change over time and that was the for the sulfur dioxide and pollution due to that uh, we will keep you updated until the july 29th of course, uh, this is the IMO update. This is a summary of it. I've presented more with the GPS data. The earthquake uh, in this area is quite uh, also low at this moment. There is not much stress. Lava has came out because of the release of stress by those earthquakes previously. So wait until the next uh, update in 29th of July.